Hey there, productivity enthusiasts, welcome back to my channel. Today we have something truly game changing to discuss that will help you to automate manual actions an Obsidian community plugin called Templator. Before we start, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on my content. But without further ado, let's get started. Templator is one of the most powerful community plugins available for Obsidian. It allows you to create templates, insert variables, and execute JavaScript right in your nodes. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can improve your note-taking workflow with Templator. But before we dive in, make sure Templator is installed in your vault. And if not, you can do that by going to Settings, Community Plugins, Browse, Templator, Install, and Enable. Now, let's take a look to the settings. As you can see, we can define a template folder location. Basically, the nodes inside this folder will be recognized as template. Let's do that. So I just create a new folder and I call it template. And I go back to the settings and I just put the name of the folder here. Here, there are some useful basic settings like syntax highlighting or automatic jump to cursor that automatically triggers this command here. And you can choose to put the command wherever you want inside the template. So you can decide the initial position of the cursor. And I will show you how later on in this video. But now it's time to try this amazing plugin. Let's create our first template. Let's say that you want to create a template for your blog post. To do that, we just need to create a new note here inside the template folder. And we can call it blog post template. Just let me hide the title of the file from the note. Um, in appearance, you can go here, show in line title, and just disable it. Okay, I prefer like this. Now, inside this file, you can define a default structure. For example, you want a section where you collect some ideas about topics you want to cover in your blog post. So we can create an article ideas section. And maybe you want a section for some headline ideas. And after that, you can have a draft section with some subsections like introduction, content, and conclusion. Now we have a template that we can use for every blog post note we will create without writing all of these things every single time. Let's try it out. So let's create a new note and we can call it first blog post. And now if I want to use the template we've just created, I just need to open the command palette and search for templater, open insert template model, or you can use your shortcut alt plus E. And here you can choose the template that we've just created. And here we go. We have our note ready to be used without wasting time writing all these things. There are some internal functions you can use to automate manual tasks. And Templator uses a custom templating engine syntax to declare commands. A command must have both an opening tag and a closing tag. The opening tag is with the less than sign and the percentage sign and the closing tag is with the percentage sign and the greater than sign. For example, let's say that we don't want to write the H1 heading inside the note, but we want to automatically write it by using the title of our note. To do that, write the simple command tp.file.title. Also, let's say that we want to use the automatic jump to cursor command we saw earlier. To do that, we just need to write this function here, pp.file.cursor brackets. And now the cursor will automatically jump in the article ideas section. And this is also supposed to be an h1 heading, so I just put a hash in front of the command. These are just two examples, but there are many functions and commands you can use. We will see some of them in the future videos, but in the meantime, I will leave the complete documentation in the description down below if you want to learn more about this. 
Now let's create a new node here and I can call it templater syntax article and with alt plus e I choose the template and as you can see we already have an h1 heading here with the name of the file and our cursor is here inside the article ideas now let's go back to the settings because I want to show you a very nice function here trigger templater on new file creation and here you can enable folder templates basically these allow you to automatically apply the same template to every node you will create in a specific folder for example let's say that we want to automatically insert the blog post template into the nodes we create inside a blog post folder so first of all just create a new folder and call it blog post and now go back to the settings and choose the folder blog post here and the template we want to use so blog post template now every time we will create a note inside the folder the template will be inserted automatically so let's try it out if i create a new note inside the blog post folder here the template will be automatically inserted and i am ready to use my note I know there is a problem the heading is untitled this happens because the file name of the new file is untitled by default this problem occur when you use the folder templates because in this case the process is first creating a note inside the folder and second templater will trigger the folder templates function with these two steps in this order the template will retrieve the untitled file name since it will be the name that will be automatically assigned to the file when it will be created. I will show you how to fix this with a script I found in the Obsidian forum and I put the link to that thread in the description down below. In the template file you just need to add this script so we will replace this file.title command here and this is the new script. I will leave the script in the description down below so you can copy paste it. Now, if we create a new note here in the blog post folder, the script will ask you how you want to call this note. And you write the title here, enter, and here we go. Now it's way better. And there you have it, folks. Templator is a game changer for anyone using Obsidian. It will help you to automate your tasks and make your notes more dynamic. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow note takers. Also, make sure to follow me on X, Mastodon, and Medium, where I share productivity and PKM content every day. And if you want to improve your productivity and knowledge management, I suggest you to try the Paperless Movement iCore courses. You can have a three day trial by signing up through my iCore Expert page. You will find all the links in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, stay productive.